All right. Well, I think it's time to get around to cutting out our CO2 car. And again, I have my side view and my top view. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna cut the side view first, uh, and then we're gonna glue it back together, which sounds kind of weird, and then we'll cut our top view out. So the first thing I'm gonna do when I get in my van saw is I'm gonna adjust the upper blade guard guide assembly to within a quarter inch of the car, okay? Uh, and so I don't want a lot of space between them because it makes it more difficult to steer. I'm gonna try to take off uh, as big a piece as I can. Now, I know that I can't get that blade to go down in there and then turn and come back out. So I'm gonna start right about here. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna catch the top of this and I'll just work that around here and then probably right around here, I'll skip that V and come shooting out right there. And once that's off, I can come back and get that V out. The one thing you should know about a bandsaw is when you push material in, if you need to come back out of the material, always turn off the saw. Never pull it backwards while it's running. When you do that, uh, what tends to happen is we pull the blade off of the wheels uh, that it turns on and that's no good. Ends up breaking the blade. All right, so I got my saw set to the right height. I have a plan before I start. I'm gonna keep my fingers off that silver dollar. So I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna bring it in right about here. And I'm gonna follow the shape of my car. I have a pretty narrow blade. I think it's about a 3 8 blade. So it'll make a pretty curvy cut here. I'm gonna follow the shape of my car around. Uh, and I sometimes like to reach through the saw to hold on to the other side. Uh, it feels pretty safe over there because it doesn't feel like anything's gonna get. Now I can't get down in that V. I bring the saw out, or bring the foot out. So, now you're gonna need this, so don't dispose of it, just set it aside. And now I'm gonna come in here and take off this extra piece of wood on the front, and I'm gonna make a series of cuts. I know my blade won't cut something that sharp, but I can make a bunch of little cuts to get pretty close. Now I'd rather work right up to it. Now, that looks pretty good down there. So down here on this bottom, again, it's going to be pretty tight. I may or may not be able to make this cut. Let's see what happens. And again, just make sure you're aware of where your hands are at all times. So I'm going to switch this around a little bit. Okay. Again, I'm going to hold on to these scraps. We're not done with them yet. And then I'm going to come into the very back of the car here and make this little rounded cut. Again, it's a little tighter than what my blade will do, so I'm just going to make several cuts there to get that rounded up. And then in the back here, I'm going to come into my spoiler. Now again, what I was saying is, once you get in there, now I need to turn it back out. So I'm going to turn it off, give it a little wiggle so it comes out. I didn't pull it back out while it's running, because if you do that, you're definitely going to break the blade. And then I'm going to come in over here. And get that edge. And then I'm going to feed this in here. Remember that V that I couldn't get before? I came into there. I'm going to turn it off and wait for it to stop. Wiggle it out. And voila, the side view of my car is cut out. Now, my next step, I know this sounds crazy, in my next video, I'm going to take rubber cement and I'm going to rubber cement all these pieces uh, that are necessary back onto the car. Any pieces that I have. Um, and you'll see why when we do the other view. All right. Stand by.